Yes, sir. The big 38 FLS A front living room. Uh, Jayco Pinnacle here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Uh, as equipped in this video, it weighs about 14.2, but uh, the one that we have here in this video could be a little bit different than the one that we have in stock. So if at any point you're curious, uh, if you're just on YouTube, look down in the video description. There's a little link that says check for pricing and availability. That'll show you what we have in stock and what we're asking for with its specific set of equipment. Um, the uh, biggest thing with the Pinnacle, the first thing I want to talk about is uh, their double link warranty. They have twice the industry standard warranty in the fifth wheel market and they include first year roadside assistance with that. Uh, they're just built better uh, so they're you know they have the peace of mind the, the better guarantees that go with that. Another thing in the construction of this is that it is wide body. These are 102 max width wide body. Uh, as opposed to 96 inch standard. What that means in English, this is six inches wider in every area of the RV. And I'm, I've had uh, you, you wonderful commenters occasionally leave some feedback saying, oh, you make too much of a big deal out of six inches. You don't understand. This floor plan is not possible without it. The things they do in this RV aren't possible without that extra space. Um, not to mention, ask anyone if they've had an RV with a quote big enough bathroom or bedroom you'd always like a little bit more space that's what's nice about this it's also one of the reasons it does weigh a little more it's just literally more of it uh, more ride rubberized shock dampening uh, pin box and suspension system this dampens shocks laterally both forward and back as well as a little bit side to side so that you don't get that hard jerkiness going down the road now your big tire suspension has a compression rubber equalization that will squeeze down to help soak some of the vertical shock and jolts as well so it doesn't jar your teeth out. Now uh, notice that here on the upper deck they don't have to pre-cut and pre-crack their fiberglass. They don't have to put a piece of trim here to hide that. Uh, it's because it's going to hold its shape. It has enough meat on the bones to do that. 100% LED lighting inside now. Uh, we've equipped this uh, to be generator ready. Sometimes we'll put a generator in, sometimes not. And uh, these can only house up to six batteries. Uh, heavy on the sarcasm there with the only six batteries. That's another best in class feature. Uh, this has a diesel pusher constructed uh, roof basically. You've got, the roof is all built at one piece with their Magnum Truss XL6 um, roof system. Uh, so you got these big six inch arched roof rafters. Uh, it's domed interior, domed exterior, incredibly structurally strong, quite possibly the strongest RV roof in the business. Uh, full private docking station here with heated and enclosed gate valves. We have one touch fully auto uh, leveling. We've got forced air heated, enclosed insulated underbelly, slide outs, roof, uh, nose cap. Uh, huge, big wheels on this. What size are these things? Hold on, these are 16s. Larger wheels on this thing. Um, we've got, you know, dual opposing bedroom slides that you'll see when we get inside to give you max space. They do double up on the tail lights for safety's sake. You're going to double your visibility and uh, even a power cord reel. You literally have a electric in-out reel for that heavy 50 amp power cord. Now, um, you're this thing's long enough, you're probably not going to do any towing behind it, but a, a nice place for like a bike rack and whatnot with this receiver hitch on here is perfect. Now, even if, um, like a lot of people like this floor plan at a park or seasonal site, so they're like, well, I'm not going to, I don't need a bike rack because my bikes are just going to be parked on my site. I've talked to people who said, you know, when I came back, my bikes weren't, uh, they weren't parked where I left them. That's why this can still be nice. You can still secure your stuff a little bit better. You've got quad entry steps for both uh, direct bedroom access and front uh, living area. And they're all the aluminum uh, boat dock style anti-slip steps. So if your shoes get wet, you're not going to slip slide and fall around. Um, big windows everywhere they could. This pretty much has max size windows everywhere. Now, if you look at your awning closely, first of all, there's a full length LED light strip on like a 20 or 21 foot awning, whatever this big thing is. You see that shiny skin on there? This has a flex fabric wrap on the uh, outside of it. The first like nine inches are made of a different material. Um, if you've ever seen those big aluminum tube shields on awnings, those things are great because they keep the weather off the awning. Uh, but the problem is water could blow down the tube pretty darn easy if it's, you know, raining or anything. Now you got water trapped in and you have to open the uh, awning to try to air it out. This wraps that awning. I'm not going to tell you it's sealed, but it's a heck of a lot closer. It's just one step better. You know what I mean? Little detail stuff like having your uh, power or your outside speakers down here low as opposed to up uh, really high. Um, it, it's nice to, to have that down here where it belongs next to your picnic table, not up really high. Um, you know, the keyless entry door pad, kind of like a vehicle, is just nice and convenient. But in a camper, 
it's based around activities. RVing is based around activities. So um, if you're going to go out, you're going to go like kayaking or something, you don't want to risk losing your keys. It's nice to have that. Now, when you walk in, there's lights all over the place. We've got welcome back entry lights. Oh, I love that. I love that back light on there. It's like welcome home. Got our main cabin lights. We've got um, you know, upper accent lights up here. We've got lower accent lights down below. Now what's really cool is this lower accent light switch. That same switch operates in the bedroom, also in the bathroom. So it's like a, uh, it's a night light, basically. If you wake up at night and you're trying to navigate the RV, you don't have to kick on the overhead lights to do that. Now, uh, your front living room here, you, you also have additional light switches here that operate various, uh, you know, uh, specialized light areas within the RV. Now this is called the ivory decor. Um, and keep in mind again, the one here in this video might be different from what we have in stock. So here we have ivory with a little ebony contrast. Get it? Ebony and ivory. See what I did there? Come on people. These are the jokes. Um, this is a trifold memory foam high to bed sleeper sofa. This is a bifold memory foam high to bed sleeper sofa. They come together and have about two inches between them to turn this whole upper deck into like a giant grandkid mega bunk. And uh, if you've ever had to suffer from that grandparent guilt, you feel like the grandkids are going to uh, somehow suffer for you enjoying your retirement or something, let's put all that to rest. Because one, the grandkids really... Uh, don't care. You're projecting a lot of grandparent guilt onto those kids. But secondly, they're going to love this thing. They have their own upper deck home theater system built into this. So uh, let, let's start digging in here. So all of our windows, by the way, here we go. Here's a good example. Have dual section day and night roller shades. So you can have as much light or privacy as you want anytime. Um, so you know, here on this ultra cush, uh, cushy plush sofa over here, you can kick your feet up on this nice plush ottoman, or it could be an extra stool. By the way, perfect little grandkid uh, toy storage under there as well. Now check this out. This is an update over last year. They made the TV swing out on this just giant full swing arm uh, so that you've got this, like what, almost 60 inch, if not already 60 inch um, high def flat screen here uh, with like hidden DVD storage shelf behind. Plus we got all a little bonus storage beside. Upstairs we have an electric space heater we call a fireplace to give you uh, supplemental heat without burning up your propane. This by the way, just easily locks right over here on the side. Um, all-in-one Furion AM FM CD DVD Bluetooth player over there because every all the electronics are Furion. They all talk together. So if you change the input here, it's going to talk to this and say, oh, uh, he wants to watch a DVD. Turn over to DVD mode. It's just easier, simple. It's streamlined. That's the way this is supposed to be. Um, we got a very social back and forth seating arrangement here and grandpa and grandma, you know, the king and the queen here have their thrones directly across from the entertainment center uh, in this dual wall hugging theater recliner that is just plush and gorgeous. Everything in this has a very rich and lavish feel and uh, with the exception of me, I have no rich and lavish qualities about me. I'm just I'm not, I'm not sure I'm chemically balanced sometimes, but the point is, what, the reason I'm pointing the camera at my face is so you can see how this is a full walk-in height upper deck. Um, even all the way up here next to the TV, there's nowhere that my head comes even close to hitting anything. I'm 6'3", I'm wearing a hat. It's just not a problem. Uh, you're also not going to get deafened by the air conditioner because you notice uh, you don't see one. This has a whisper quiet AC system. You're only going to hear about 10% of the volume of that thing. It's not going to be terribly loud. And I don't use um, liar liar pants on fire fisheye lenses. This is what it really looks like. Barreled interior ceiling. If someone's using a fisheye lens on you guys, camera tricks, they're already lying to you. And their entire sales regimen is based on deception. Just consider that for a minute. Huge! residential refrigerator with a 1000 watt inverter to give you uh, power going down the road so that thing's not going to melt. Your eggs aren't going to sweat. Big convection microwave over here for big meals in a hurry um, with a recessed stove and oven below and stainless uh, on your main appliances here. And being recessed, you've got LG Hymax solid surface countertops in the uh, slide out here on the island over here in your little hutch prep space. Everything is dressed and pressed and ready for the big dance. Storage. First of all, we got this dedicated pantry over here with adjustable shelving. Um, as we come around the island, you notice we have dedicated wastebasket storage with uh, pure, unadulterated, all the way through storage under the island. And I love that indirect accent light down there below. Now, drawers. Let's talk drawers. We got an extra drawer below the stove where a lot of manufacturers don't. Now, we have so much storage here that our drawers have drawers in the drawers. Like, for real. <laughs> 
everything has its own little place. And I love this little appliance station right here with this little pull-up power post. That's some alliteration for you. Um, notice that the plugs are pointed different directions and you got USB chargers here so your uh, devices are never gonna run uh, dead on you. Now, across from that, here in a dedicated uh, lower deck dining station, a couple things I wanna point out. Your upper lights here, a lot of brands are still using incandescents. These are LEDs, nicer. Um, you've got a, this is a couple's coach, so you've got a, a pair of nice dining chairs. When you have guests, you see that this has a middle hidden extension leaf with a pair of fold away decor matching chairs. Remember Ebony and Ivory? That's where Ebony was hiding. Um, the point here is that this, this RV can kind of convert and, and morph and modify it to, to fit your needs anytime you want, uh, whenever you want it. So, usually you're not going to need the extra chairs. Pull them out when you need them. Enjoy the extra elbow room otherwise when you don't. Um, walking through here, uh, unless you're, I don't know, what, 10 feet tall? You're, you're never, ever, ever going to worry about hitting your head on that extra super duper large slide out, or pardon me, skylight they have above this shower. This is a one-piece molded seamless self-reinforced shower. What does that big sentence full of S uh, starting words mean? It means that you can literally jump up and down in that shower as a grown adult and it won't even flinch. You can't even phase it. Neat thing too, they recently changed the little pocket doors. It's got a lat positive latch system in it so it can't slide open in transit. You have to push down to unlock it. Just a neat little thing. Um, remember again, your indirect lights are all keyed in together. So you've got one switch and, and that switch is in different rooms, by the way. You don't have to use that switch in just the master control center. There's a switch for it in the bedroom, in the living room, everywhere. Um, same solid surface countertops here in the bathroom with a beautiful undermounted stainless sink, by the way, um, as you, you find in the living room. And of course, porcelain, foot flush, carpetless bathroom, easy peasy. Um, moving back, we've got, of course, our, our full true 70 by 80 king bed in here. Now what I love about this is that it was built with a king bed in mind. What I mean by that is a lot of brands will build with a queen and then they say, well, you could shove a king in here, but when you do that, you lose your walk around the bed space. Because this pinnacles are standard king with an option down to a queen, that means that they have room to walk around the bed on both sides. A lot of brands, you can't get between the bed and the closet over here, and you didn't spend this kind of money to have a corner bed that you have to jump and climb into, did you now? Um, extra tall, what, six and a half foot slide out here in the lower deck, so you're getting bonus storage overhead. I don't even have the LED indirect lights on there. And look at this detail stuff. Bedside stands with power outlets built right in the slide out box. That is not a common feature, ladies and gentlemen. It's not easy to do in RV construction. Full 102 inch rear uh, massive wardrobe storage closet. You can put a stackable washer dryer here if you want. That's a cedar lined closet to keep the, uh, you know, the critters away, the bugs I suppose, with bonus long term storage above. Now as I back up here a little bit, uh, I want to point out how the TV swings out so it can be more centered up with the master bed right here. All kinds of good dresser space and there's even a, a nice little phone and device charging station right there for you so that again even in the master bedroom you have everything in one spot. And that's what's so cool about this. Let's see, we've got 30,000 BTU air system with whisper quiet in the living room that we talked about. We have, um, you know, uh, four seasons rated insulation. Um, you know, the, everything on this is, is top of its class. We got our toe kick central back there. Um, it's just everything above and beyond what's standard in the industry and then quite a few steps more. So uh, give us a call, give us the opportunity to earn your business. We do trades, hitching, pieces, parts, financing. We only do everything. If you need a truck to tow this beauty, guess what? We do that too. We'll take your old half ton in on trade and get you a new uh, heavy duty three quarter to one ton and get you camping, guys. We'll put this thing in your driveway, in your campsite. I don't care where you live. They all get shipped, whether it's from the manufacturer or from me, they all get shipped. So it doesn't matter. All we need is the opportunity to earn your business. Give us a call. Let's get you camping. 800-256-5196. Hey, RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.